fasting is banned mosques are destroyed and saying assalamu alaikum forget about it of course i'm talking about the Uyghur muslims of chinese occupied east turkestan what we know now today as the xinjiang Uyghur autonomous region located in the northwest of china a country which borders with india pakistan tajikistan afghanistan Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Russia to the north, and Mongolia. Ramadan has arrived and at a time where we may be upset because of the coronavirus that we won't be able to go to the mosque and pray taraweeh together, let's put things into perspective and see what the Uyghur Muslims go through every Ramadan. They are not able to fast, they are not able to own Quran, they cannot pray, they cannot give their children Muslim names, they are forced to drink alcohol and eat pork especially during the month of Ramadan. Shopkeepers are forced to sell alcohol and pork. Uyghurs are not allowed to go to Hajj. So any form of Islam is totally, totally banned. Even saying Islamic phrases like Assalamu Alaikum, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, forget about it. This will land you in a concentration camp. You may have seen in the media recently, the vast majority of concentration camps arbitrarily detaining Uyghur Muslims simply for having a beard or wearing hijab or practicing Islam in any way. These camps are the same, if not worse, than what happened to the Jews over 75 years ago. Yes, this is a Muslim Holocaust happening in 2020, where Muslims go through various forms of torture, like sterilization, gang rape of both men and women. Children are also taken away and adopted off to Han Chinese families. People go through tortures, like sitting in tiger chairs for hours on end, interrogated for days, sleep deprivation, atrocities that are unheard of. So yes, while we may be going through a difficult time with COVID-19, this Ramadan, think about your Muslim brothers and sisters, the Uyghurs. While we are locked in our comfy homes, still allowed to practice in our homes, living in the free world, the Uyghur Muslims themselves can't even practice Islam in their own home because 1.1 million Chinese officials are forced to live with Uyghurs and monitor each and every move. Imagine someone forced you to live with a government official and they monitored each and every move that you made, the language that you spoke, whether you practice Islam or not. And one wrong move can land you into a concentration camp where you will not know whether you will come out alive or dead. And even the ones that do end up dying in these camps, we don't get the body back. You will not be able to give a janazah because they cremate the bodies to hide the evidence of torture. Another issue, halal organ harvesting. You may have heard of this term before. Halal organ harvesting is where organs of Uyghur Muslims are taken and sold off to the highest bidders in the Middle East. You can do your own research about all the things that I've talked about because it has been well documented by Western media and well-known human rights organizations all around the world. Well, what can you do as a regular Muslim or a regular human being? Join us in the fight against China. We all have access to social media, apps like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all these sort of social Social media apps that we take for granted are absolutely banned. Follow us on our page, Talk to East Turkestan. Follow our Twitter, add Arslan underscore Hidayat, and share the work that we do. Do your bit. You know, sometimes we take things like social media for granted. You have to ask yourself, why does the Chinese communist regime ban all those apps that I just mentioned? Because they want to hide the truth. They want to save face. Well, we need to show the world just how murderous this Chinese regime actually is.